Hello and welcome to this chapter. Now this chapter is extremely important because we are going to be dealing with joins. Now as a Cognos developer, I believe that if you are able to do joins and unions, you become untouchable. Because of this reason, I created a chapter before where I talked about joins and unions. Okay, so we are going to be using the data or the list report that we created in the previous chapter where we used the report expression to display a cap when a product was ranked number one. Now, here is the requirement. The customer wants to be able to see the number one ranked product for each of the different years, but they want to see it horizontally. You see, this is a very, very different requirement. You see, the customer wants to be able to see one rule that shows the number one ranked product for 2019 2018, 2017, and 2016, okay? So in this case, we have to create multiple queries and we have to filter them based on the year, okay? We have to create multiple queries, filter them based on the year and also the rank. And after doing this, we can join them together horizontally. So when it comes to deciding about joins, it comes with a layout because you can create this report using a vertical or a single query. Okay, you, you're able to see number one, number two, number three. You can see number one again. So all I can do is filter this entire query by one, and I'll be able to get the same thing here, but vertical. But see, our customer wants to see each of them horizontally. So this is where you create a join because this these elements from here to here are coming from one query, from here to here is one query, from here to here is another query, from here to here is another query, from here to here is another query. Okay, so we are joining three queries together and I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So we are going to begin by using the template from the last report where we created the top three. 